Hello everybody! We are here today at Animal Kingdom because the last time we were here I noticed something that I had never seen before here at Animal Kingdom and I guarantee, we're going to show it to you today and I guarantee you it is something you have never seen before. It is a piece of Disney magic that you have never seen, I guarantee it. And we're going to eat at our favorite sit-down restaurant on Disney property and ride some of our favorite rides so it is going to be an awesome evening. I'm so excited for you all to see this. Um, I had never seen before. I'm just curious. I really want to know like, if anyone that watches this video has ever actually seen this, uh, this thing that we're going to show. So definitely like, let me know in the comments. I'm like pumped for you to actually see it uh, because I've never seen it. And I feel, like, I feel like nobody has. I don't even know if anybody's ever noticed this before. So I'm really kind of, I don't know, I'm excited. So you have to definitely let me know if you've, paid, if you've seen this before, if you've noticed it. If, if I'm if I'm crazy, but it, it's 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 pretty neat. Let's do dinosaur. We took a look at the wait times, and they're pretty high right now. So we are going to hop on to one of the rides that doesn't have a long wait time. Don't get to see this big boy very often. You have to kind of go to the back of the line to see this. Rawr. I feel like nobody watches this show anymore. They don't. Everybody just talks. Just Hello talks. there. I like this show. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride. No one ever watches I'm Doctor Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist. We are in the back row, and when he says it can get kind of choppy out there, he means the back row. He means the back row. Like <laughs> it's rough back here. Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. <laughs> Abort mission! Abort! Abort! I finally got the little dinosaur head on video, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna check. I don't know why what I just snorted. Just snort? I just, all I did was just breathe in. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Anyway, we finally got the little dinosaur. The main dinosaur animatronic has been down. The Carnotaurus has been down for weeks now. And the very first time that it ever happened, all of a sudden we were like, where's the big Carnotaurus? There's a big wall there. And I looked over and there was this little head in the crest. And I was like, what is that replacement? That's garbage. Um, and I just couldn't stop laughing about it. And so today, I finally actually got it on video and I'm like, it is there. I'm not dreaming. It, it's real, it's there. Um, now believe it or not, that's not actually what I was wanting to show you on this video. So stay tuned. It's gonna be later on in the video, but that's kind of cool too to get to see that because most people don't ever get to see that little replacement Carnotaurus head there whenever the main animatronic is down, so, huh? I just took a snick, a snick, what, what, what am I doing today? I'm snorting, I'm saying snick, I don't know what's going on. Um, I did a sneak peek, you can peek through the little slats in the, in the wall there to see um, what's on the other side of it. That's where Primeval World used to be, and I was wanting to just get a quick like shot in there and see if they've done anything, but unfortunately they haven't done anything. It's just literally a concrete slab there still with kind of a, a little bit of rubble and stuff laying there. Um, but I was talking to a cast member, Ivy, and she was giving me the details. She said, unfortunately, there are no permits, no plans, no nothing right now for that space. Um, and, to, and probably won't be until after the 50th anniversary is over. Um, she said they're pre pretty much focusing on the Splash Mountain re-theme and refurb. And they're obviously the Tron ride, getting that out the door. So right now, it's just probably going to be like a little bit of extra seating space. And that's about it, unfortunately. So... I don't know why I was holding it down here so all you could see was the clouds, but anyway. We are absolutely famished. It is time for dinner and we're heading over to Asia. And if you watch our videos, some of you may already know what I believe and we both believe is one of the best sit-down restaurants 
in all of Disney, if not the best. And it's coming up right here in front of us, in front of this really awesome tree, Yak and Yeti. Mm. It is Asian sort of uh, inspired cuisine. We've done full review videos on this restaurant, so I won't cover it again today, but I love this restaurant. It's so good. Not only is the food amazing at Yak and Yeti, but one of my favorite things about Yak and Yeti is it's a Landry's restaurant. And since we are Landry's card holders, we never have to wait in line. We basically get the first next available table, regardless of how many people have reservations, how many people are in the restaurant. I just walked in the restaurant after just doing that quick intro um, that you just saw me walk through, and they've already called our name. So we're sitting down and eating now. Literally that fast. Not like It was like 30 seconds and we're already sitting down. And there was a lot of people standing out there waiting, by the way, for their table, so. Hey, is that Landry's card? We've had it for years. I mean, year, I think like 10 years maybe, if not longer. And it's, I mean, and we, we have a $25 um, reward right now too because we come to these restaurants periodically and you get rewards. So we get $25 off of our dish today. Whatever we get, we get 25 bucks off. Oh, yeah. How's that? <laughs> I got the lettuce cups. Um, it's an appetizer, a shareable or something. It says it feeds two, but I just got it as my meal. Um, and it's really good. Yeah, I've had it a few times before, so I knew it was good. I think it's $18.99. I got the same thing. I almost, almost the same thing that I always get, which is the combination lo mein. I love it. It's so good. We've talked about it before, and I literally can't say enough good things about it. A lot of people say it's just like Asian food or Chinese food, and it's like not worth the money, but I think it's like way better quality than what you get at like a standard Asian restaurant. I just love how it has all these like fresh vegetables in here. Um, it's got like these like onions or leeks. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and these carrots are always like so good and crisp, and then it's got the lo mein noodles. And it's got chicken, like big, good-sized chunks of chicken in here, and shrimp. Um, I just love it. I feel like it's got like the perfect texture to it. It's got the perfect flavor. The noodles are always cooked perfectly. I love it. Usually we we get like we get the combination lo mein and like chicken fried rice, and then we split it like half and half. But she wanted to go with the lettuce cups today. They're really good though. I love them. Whew! I tell you what, that was. I'm stuffed. It was so good. Um, it's funny because we were, the food came so fast um, and we sat down so fast that like the, there were people waiting to, to get in and get a table that were waiting when we, like when we went in and they were still there waiting when we came out. I, I kind of want to feel bad a little bit for them, but like not really because I mean, if you watch our videos, we'd be telling you you get the Landry's card, and then you get the Landry's card, and you wouldn't have to wait. So, you know, watch our videos. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so, does anybody remember P.F. Chang's? Does anybody eat there still? I mean, we do. I like P.F. Chang's, but um, does anybody remember when they used to do, like, the sauce? Yeah. They used to do this, like, thing where they would, they would bring out this, like, little bowl of, like, soy sauce, and then they would, that, like, the server would add this like mustard, like a little bit of this mustard, a little bit of this like red pepper flake sauce or something, like spicy sauce. And they would like mix it up. Yeah. And they would ask you like, how spicy do you want it? I always wanted it spicy. And then, and then they would like leave the ingredients on the table if you wanted to make more or your own. Yeah. And I, whenever they came to our table, I would always just say, just, I don't, don't even bother making it. I'll just make it myself because I had this like perfect blend. I used to love making that sauce. And that sauce was so good. I feel like they don't do that anymore. I don't know. I, I think like the last I feel like the last couple times we went they just brought us a sauce. Like and it was just that was what you got. There was no like it, they didn't ask you what to put in it, how spicy you wanted it. It just came with it. I don't even remember what that sauce was for. I mean, we put it on the lettuce cups. I, I do remember that. But I yeah, we put it on everything. That sauce was so good. I miss when they used to do that. It just reminded me of that when you had that sauce for your lettuce cups. I thought about it while I was doing it. 
before you even said anything, I thought about. Yeah. I missed that sauce, and it was good. That was a good sauce. Look how serene it is back here. When it's not very crowded, sort of as it's getting later in the evening at Animal Kingdom, um, it's like really quiet over here. This is the this is sort of that like back walkway between Africa and the Pandora area. Just listen how quiet it is. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the mic around. Hang on. Isn't that crazy? Like you can just hear all these like bug sounds. I mean, that's those are artificial. Some of those are artificial bug sounds. There are real bugs and frogs and stuff around here. I can hear them, but there's a bunch of artificial sounds up here. But it's so quiet back here. It almost just, I mean, right then when we were just standing back there, I almost felt like we weren't in Disney. Because you don't get quiet that often in Disney. If there's a few um, quiet spots in some of the resorts and areas, but I feel like most of the time when you're in Disney, it's just go, 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 and it's just loud, and there's always noise and people, which I love. But it's also kind of cool to just find that, like, quiet spot and just sit and relax for a minute. We have finally made it over to the thing that I want to show you, and it's in Pandora. I'm really excited to show this to you all. Oh, there's a... We have an elf right here. Hi, how's it going? Um, I'm really excited to show this to you all uh, because I feel like, I f I'm telling you, you've never noticed this before. I promise you, you have never seen this. I want to know in the comments if you've seen it and if I'm wrong. I already saw it and I'm so excited. I can't wait. This is cool. You're going to love this. <laughs> I'll see if I can get a good view of it from where I'm at here. We are right in front of Flight of Passage. Um, the entrance to Flight of Passage is right here behind me. We're actually not going to get on Flight of Passage. I think we might ride it later. If the, maybe like right before it closes, we're going to try and hop on. Although we might do Nobby River. We'll probably do one or the other, depending on the wait times. But what I want to show you is actually part of the facade of Flight of Passage. Um, and I'm going to have to really zoom in for you to see this thing. And you're probably still going to be like, I don't even see. I, I think he's wrong. What? All right, so you ready? You ready for this? This is so cool. Check this out. Now, obviously, you know... There are lots of beautiful waterfalls throughout the Pandora area. There's like an amazing waterfall right over there. That's a real waterfall. There's actually water there. You've got lots of little waterfalls down here in this area. You've got all those beautiful waterfalls right up here. But check this out. I'm going to zoom in as best I can here. Do you see that little baby waterfall up there? And there's actually another one slightly to the right. That waterfall right there that I'm sort of zoomed in as best I can straight ahead is not an actual waterfall. There is no water pouring from that at all. Not that one down there towards the bottom, but that one way up there at the top. All that is is like a cement rock rotating over and over and over again making it look like there's actually water like a waterfall there it's like a decorated watery like shaped rock and then there's another one slightly over there to the right and then there's another one you see that right there now right above it to the right that little sliver right above it all the way at the top there's another one of those little rocks it's a fake waterfall I mean, what? There's two little fake waterfalls right there. I got a closer view here. I've come halfway up the line. It's really hard to see from in the actual line. Um, but you can see it right there between those little plants. It's just like a little rock. Kind of like a conveyor belt. Just kind of rotating over and over. It, it, it's kind of like a conveyor belt almost. With like little like pebbles and rocks rotating on it. I mean, come on, that's so cool. There's actually a few of them up there. You can see the one rotating rock right there, but if you go up a little bit higher to the, like where that little branch is sticking off, there's another one up there. It's kind of like one continuous one. And then there's another one up to the right over here, blocked by all these trees. 
There's actually a few of those up there. All right, I mean, come on. Like, no one, you, you, nobody on the video has seen that before. Like, I, you've never seen that, right? Like, I'm not, like, that's not like a known thing. That's not like an obvious thing that everybody knows about. I'm pretty sure. I feel like no one's seen that before. Like, how cool. Like, that's just, I love that, like, again, just like a little bit of Disney magic happening right there. Um, all these, like, little touches and things that are happening that you don't even realize uh, to make it, like, to bring in the sort of facade and the magic and the creating these like really cool experiences. Wow, this sun's in a really rough spot. It's just one of the cool touches that I think Disney puts on things and it makes it look like it just, it really just kicks the experience up a notch. I actually wonder how many of those types of things are around that I haven't even noticed yet. Because we've been coming here for years and I only just noticed that. Um, so I wonder how many other things I'm gonna find. So yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I feel like it's interesting. So let us know in the comments below for sure if you've already seen that, if you already knew about that, if this is like a common thing and I'm just dumb. Um, but I feel like, let us know in the comments if you didn't know this. If you've never seen it before, if this is your first time seeing it, let us know because I'd like to know either way. This is the most interesting <laughs> creature we've seen on this before so far. We'll see if we can and we're currently holding for I do Traffic. appreciate your patience in the meantime There's here. An animal in the road. Here are... <laughs> That's a problem for the truck driver behind me, though, I should suppose. <laughs> oh. I wasn't planning on videoing the safari, but <laughs> it was like there was no animals. Yeah, for... But yeah, somehow there was a couple of spots where there was just like one, there was um, an Ancoli cattle that decided it was gonna stand in the road for like an hour. And then right after that, there was a wildebeest that decided it was gonna stand and block us for an hour. So we were on that safari, I feel like, for like 45 minutes. And I think we only saw like three animals the whole I like time. The, I don't care, I like the safari. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I wasn't planning on recording it, but then I was like, I'm gonna have, now I gotta record it because there's like no animals and the, uh, and then there was a rabbit, so that was exciting. <laughs> Last ride of the night, and we decided we were going to go between Navi and Flight of Passage because you can't really do both because we only have about 15 minutes before the park closes. Navi said it was a 55 minute wait. We just walked into Navi. Flight of Passage said it was a 125 minute wait. And we pretty much figured that the wait times were lying to us. But these weren't actually going to be the wait times. And now we're actually getting on Navi, which says 55 minute wait. And there's literally no wait at all. It's a complete walk-on. Um, you're seeing, I mean, I'm in the line right now. We just got in the line. This is the entrance right behind me that we are about to just walk straight into. So zero minute wait. And it said 55 minutes. So flight of passage, we're also, I figured it was probably 125 minutes. It's probably more like 45 minutes. Um, but we kind of wanted to ride Navi instead of Flight of Passage. So, um, although if we would have gotten here maybe five minutes earlier, I think we could have ridden both rides. But again, just goes to show you, see we're walking right on. You really can't trust the wait times, especially when it gets late at night. Elbow shot, yay! Got a high five from the cast member. It's walk on right here, so we're in. I'm gonna have to throw this uh, cup, it's almost gone. I'm gonna have to throw it away. Well, we just rode Navi River and we got back in line to ride it again because we had one minute. We got off, we saw there was one minute and so we did a speed walk back into line we get to ride it twice in a row. And honestly, you really need to ride this ride twice in a row because it's so short that like just when it starts to get going, it's over. And you're like, oh, first time I ever rode it, I was kind of sick about it because of the fact that um, we had waited like an hour for it or something the very first time when it first opened And so we were riding it and I was like, oh, this is really cool Like I like it and then the animatronics start coming in and I'm always just like super. I'm like wow, this is really getting good 
and then all of a sudden it was over. And I was like, oh, that's the end? <laughs> so I feel like you have to write this twice to really get the full experience because it's so short. But I just really love it. I love summertime because it stays bright for so long. Um, it stays daytime. I don't like the nighttime as much. I love daytime um, hours, like long daytime hours, summer hours. What I don't like is when Animal Kingdom closes early. Um, so, because it's closed right now. And you can see, what's that? Everybody should get to experience the glow from Pandora. Yeah. So in the summer days, I feel like they should stay up longer. Yeah, and they need to bring back the, the later hours. Um, and they need to bring back the nighttime safari. The nighttime safari was so cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can see it's like super bright out. I mean, it's like daytime still. I can still barely see the sun almost. And so, you know, don't get to see Pandora at night. That's the thing that stinks about Animal Kingdom closing so early. Here we are, right back where it all started this morning in front of the Tree of Life. What a cool day. That was a lot of fun. Um, I had a blast. There wasn't right. very many people here at all. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I kind of wanted to ride Expedition Everest and we didn't get to it, so. So we ate at one of our favorite restaurants, if not my favorite restaurant, Yak and Yeti, which was awesome again. But I, I still am like, did you know about the fake waterfall? But I'm sure there's lots of things like that. Yeah, check it out. Again, comment below. So, again, it was a fun day here at Animal Kingdom. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to... Check out our video, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification below because the notification, that helps you know when our next video drops. And you're definitely gonna wanna know, right? Because our videos are awesome, right? We're, they're awesome. We're not awesome, but our videos are awesome. They're awesome, they're awesome, they're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. I'm dancing in front of all these people and all these people. Now I'm by myself. Anyway, uh, thanks again for joining. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.